Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to solve half-life problems. So let's say that we want to know um, this is the amount that we um, have gotten to after a certain amount of time has um, decayed this substance. This is the final amount. We're going to set that equal to the original amount of the substance that you start with divided by 2 to the power of t, where t is time that it takes, um, and divided by the half-life. I'll write hl for half-life. So whatever the half-life of the substance is, um, we divide that into the time to the second to that power and divide that all into the original amount of the substance and that will give us the final amount of the substance that it's remaining. So let's look at um, a simple way to plug in these numbers. Let's say that we start with 40 milligrams of a substance and we know that the half-life of the substance is 5 and it took 10 years to decay at this rate. So we plug in the numbers like this. Then we know that 40 um, divided by, well this is 2 to the second, right? 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 to the second is 4. So that's going to be 40 divided by 4, which is 10. So it's 10 milligrams is the end amount after it has decayed over time. And that's how you solve this half-life problem. I'm Rachel and thank you for learning with me today.